Welcome, everybody. This was a tragedy first and foremost for Jacob Blake, who still suffers from grievous injuries. Officer Rustin Sheski shot Jacob Blake seven times in the back. The judge, the jury, and the trial was in the seven shots delivered by Officer Shetsky. I think in 2021, it shows one very important thing, and that is that there's three, three justice systems in America. There's one for black and brown people, one for police officers, and one for the rest of America. This isn't like the George Floyd thing. This is instantly way, way worse. The heights that we've climbed as a country as far as tension is pretty bad. A lot of it's because we don't see each other as people anymore. Uh, when there was violence on the street and led to uh, two people being killed here as well. We always yell for Anthony and Jojo. The only person's life that was threatened that day was my son and the only person's life that was taken were the two by that young man that shot them. We don't need a two hour explanation for what our eyes can see. No justice, no, no peace. No justice, no, no peace. peace. No justice, no, no peace. peace. Don't arrest me. Arrest the police. The out of towners and the militia people that are actually here, like they're more focused on that courthouse instead of worrying about the people who are down here trying to hurt us. It's a waiting game right now. We have to wait. We just have to wait. A lot of people think Kenosha is a war zone, but it's not. Kenosha is simply a city that is trying its best to navigate the social issues of this world. So, quite simply, we're just like any other city in the U.S. It's just that the focus was put on us. So you know, tonight's going to be one of them kind of nights. Making history, uh, moving the world, takes combinations. I was watching Tyson, and he had combinations. He put two or three of those boys on, you not standing up. So we're trying to put the combination on them, family. If you need a candle, please step up. Yes, love. I don't know, we want to say, oh, that's for him then. Absolutely. Uh, next to us, around us, however you want to do it, Pastor, that's your thing. Please. We're going to be... That's what we're gonna do but near the monument, right? Yeah, near the monument, Pastor. Father John. There you go. Yeah, let me set this down. I've got 38 things in my hand. I really only need two. You know what I'm saying? As we light these candles tonight, we hope we light something inside of you that gives you a commitment to justice, freedom, education, housing, food. To those that don't have it this year and the next, we ask for justice for the Taylor family, the Floyd family, the Cole family, the Stinnett family, the Boss family, and other names that we don't know. Gracious God, when you entered the world, you spoke through an angel. And Lord, on this Christmas season, we again ask for your miraculous power. Lord, we especially lift up Jacob and his family. Lord, we ask for a miracle that you will let him walk again, that you will heal his body completely. God of miracles, we pray all of this in your name. Amen. We ask a lot of being every step we take Every conversation we're in, every breath we take, every hand we shake. No need being upon this earth sucking up this oxygen if you're not here to be a change maker and to be the difference. It's not something that you join or you turn on or you put down. It's something you want to be every day. 
Many said we'd be locked up, strung out, or in jail at this point in our life, and we're none of the above. We're here as a free African descendant to show you what real men look like. So we're gonna spin the circle. We ask you to keep in mind saying something about justice for little Jake, but we wanna know what this world looks like to you in 2021. My hope for 2021 is that in the prophetic tradition of Mary, that we proclaim the year of Jubilee, the year of God's favor, that the, there is an end to mass incarceration of brown and black bodies in America, right. that there is free and clean water for all people, that Come there on. is food for all who are hungry, and that we all are naive enough, stupid enough, <laughs> or maybe smart enough to actually believe that that can happen and be part of that transformation, knowing that it may not happen, it may not be real, but we are gonna work as hard as we can in the power of God, in the power of the Spirit, in the power of collected humanity to live as if it can be real tomorrow and every day of 2021. My man, say that. I had SUVs parked outside my house that were had Texas plates, black SUVs, and they would corner my door in the street of my car when I was going to work, so I, I couldn't leave until I got right to the car and then it would take off. So there was a lot of things happening, like just mentally, there was fear, but there was still that drive to keep on going because I can't take off the color of my skin and I'm not gonna let somebody else try to scare me into going out there and advocating for myself and for black lives. Last check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, good, good. No matter what the decision is, we are seeking nonviolence. We want everybody to come out, make as much noise as you want, but we don't want any destruction of property, businesses, we don't want anyone harmed. Anything else is just not acceptable for this community. We believe this was uh, handled in a terrible manner, that justice could have taken place way before it got 20 and 30 below. My message to Kenosha is let's stand up and make some noise. Yes, sir. Let's be heard around the world. Yes, sir. Because this has got to be a federally heard for not just my son, but for everybody who's suffered police brutality. We can't sit around anymore. We can't wait. What charges would you like to see? Attempted murder. He tried to kill my son. He shot him seven times in his back, unjustifiably. Nobody's life was threatened. The only person's life that was threatened that day was my son and the only person's life that was taken were the two by that young man that shot them and rode home with a bottle of water from the Kenosha police. You, you think about it. Think about how it looks. What is the National Guard for? They're going to deliver mail? They got ice cream cones? What do you think they're here for? We're ready. We're ready. Defeated around these parks, ain't no more acting like we scared to speak up. Ain't no more just sitting back not doing nothing. You either gonna get up and step up, or you can sit back and just complain about the problems that you have. Everybody keeps saying when this change gonna come, when you become a part of change. That's when you gonna get your change. All I wanna say is that they don't really care about us.
Guess what? We out here in 28 degree weather and we still screaming justice for Blake, justice for all of the people who falling at the hands of police brutality and excessive force. And look at your brother and sister next to you. Put them in office and then what? We have the power. The way to change those laws, change the seat. That's what democracy looks like. No, we don't want, we want y'all to show that y'all are out here so our people can understand, you know? Okay, thank you. Do this before. Would you rather do them both at the same time? Do you mind doing yeah, do them both at the same time because the amount, now, announcement starts in three minutes. The out-of-towners and the militia people that are actually here, like, they're more focused on that courthouse instead of worrying about the people who are down here trying to hurt us. And that ain't cool. They need to focus on them and get them out of here. We lost two people already. We can't afford to keep losing people because they're not trying to keep them out of here. What is your, personally, when you see people that support Kyle Rittenhouse, who obviously shot two people to death, what goes through your head? Is, is, is there any fear that something like that could happen demonstrating today? There is no fear, it's a certainty. They didn't care then, they're not gonna care now. So they're gonna do what they wanna do. They've shown that already. Right now the people feel like because they're boarding up everything and got all these barricades out here, it's like we already know the decision. We wanna be hopeful and, and hope that somebody does right. But it's, it's literally, we, we, it's a waiting game right now. We have to wait. We just have to wait. It looks like the, like the brass stop. Someone yeah. told me it's out there. They said out on highway something, something. I'm trying to figure out who these guys are with these head, earpieces in. Yeah, them guys. We don't know if they for us or if they with the militia group. No, not the blue jackets, the ones in the black hoodies and khaki pants. Oh, cause let us know, cause girl, we got we we already got yeah, paranoid. Don't, don't, don't we are paranoid. Welcome everybody. This was a tragedy first and foremost for Jacob Blake, who still suffers from grievous injuries. Is Daniel even alive? No, it is Daniel. Who is this? Huh? What my sister want? What the fuck do she want? I had an opportunity to tell him what I was going to announce to all of you today in a phone call just a few minutes ago. No, 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 no. I am most definitely not. Well, I know you're not by yourself, but I'm saying, but are you, are you with me? Yeah, I got people with me. Okay. All right, be careful. All right, I love you. This is a tragedy for those who love Jacob Blake. Uh, he is a father, a son, uh, and uh, a nephew. And I wanna, I wanna acknowledge and say that uh, I really feel like the Blake family and Blake, Mr. Blake himself have tried to be real, uh, truly positive forces in the community, asking the community to have peaceful but real dialogue about change that I think is uh, necessary in this community outlined by the issues exposed in this case. I'm finna just pull up. Like, hey, bro, what it is, man? What you got to say, man? I want to speak briefly uh, in apology to all the people in the Kenosha community who have suffered in any way from the fact that this... Uh, talking too much. 
It's three o'clock. We need a decision. Uh, and so I will be announcing today the question of whether the district attorney's office in its professional judgment uh, feels that there is sufficient admissible evidence to convince a jury beyond a reasonable doubt that Officer Shesky or any of the other Kenosha officers uh, shot Jacob Blake unlawfully or committed any other offense. That's the task. It's a narrow task today. It's a legal and professional task. But I want to say that I feel... <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't piss me off. He gonna stop fucking talking too much. Just say it. God, just say it. What I do bring to this decision is almost three decades as a prosecutor making charging decisions, which is what I'm being asked Talk to do. Talking too today. much. I have my entire profession. Making my nerves bad. <laughs> this community safe. And I hope <sighs> that in these troubled times that our community and maybe America has perhaps rarely been in greater need of a neutral, professional person to referee these disputes in the criminal justice system. And so I, I, I provide that professional judgment and I bring that to the evidence today. So, the first thing I'm going to do is talk about a statute in Wisconsin. <laughs> Bruh, I'm like, just drive me up there because he's taking too long. We don't want to hear the definitions of anything. <sighs> Unlock the door. I need to smoke. Oh. I like to know. I got to smoke. I can't do this. My nerves. Yes, do. What do you mean? I need to get shit. I got to smoke. I like. To. Thank you. So, what is the statute? If it's our guidepost, where does it take us? He's sitting there doing too much talking. All these definitions and things. We just want to hear if he gonna do something or not. Dang. Hello. That's nice. That's nice. My boy wants one, cause he wanted. He actually, this guy works for. A, he's a science engineer, yeah. and the guy is actually gonna help me get him into this science camp, cause he wants to make uh, panels for like houses and buildings that actually operate off solar and lunar power. Really? Yeah. He wanted to try to use dark matter, and I had to tell him, "Listen, baby, you're gonna kill yourself, bro. So, with dark matter." Cause like we are science junkies, like love science. So we had to tell him, you know, you can't do that part. We're gonna find a new way. So he's like, mom, what about lunar? What about lunar power? What, what if I could create? So I was like, you know what? Okay, so I'm gonna let my boy, but now he wants to be a, a YouTuber. Oh gosh. So now I gotta buy all this equipment. So this little dude could be a YouTuber. Then the statute requires that the district attorney, the elected district attorney in that county. I have to remove this. Do you need me to cover you up? No, I just have to remove my pen. Okay. Um, I can't have it on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got my nerves bad. He does. He's got my nerves bad. What'd he say? We need to stop him. Well, I'll get on his headset. Thank you. Appreciate it. And it is my decision now that I announce today before you that no Kenosha law enforcement officer in this case will be charged with any criminal offense based on... Say his name! Jacob Blake! Say his name! Jacob Blake! 
Jacob Blake! Say his name! Jacob Blake! Anthony Hoover! Cecil Rosenbaum! Them who died today! Not no Jacob Blake! This is Anthony Hoover and Joseph Rosenbaum! Bro, they just did his court today. We talking about the decision he just made. And I've been yelling their names, so what's the problem? Okay. We talking about the decision he just made, Nick. we knew the police were going to get charged. Apples and oranges, brother. Apples and oranges. You're not mad about some shit that I've been yelling out. We all been saying Anthony and JoJo name. You not the only one. All of us standing right here have. So if you gonna get mad at somebody, get mad at them. Don't get mad at the people that's been out here with you. Not doing no more disrespect. I'm gonna say what I wanna say, period. I'm done letting people be disrespectful. I didn't say nothing wrong. He right. This is, we we been out here yelling for Anthony and JoJo as well. No. We always yell for Anthony and JoJo. We weren't just down here for Jacob today. We were down here for Anthony and JoJo as well. That's what people fail to realize. Like we been fighting for this, not just for them. Well, not just for Jacob. People care about Anthony and JoJo too. Portia, are you, are you surprised? No, I'm not. No. We already knew it. Yeah. I'm gonna lie to you. We knew it already. We had hope. I didn't have no hope What's because it? I knew. Look what they did. We knew. We knew. It don't take six months to say what you already knew you wanted to say and decide to do. We knew, we knew already. It what's don't take six months to say that. We already knew what they were gonna say and do. What's it like to hear the official decision though, that no officers will be charged? It hurts to the core. All the way to our DNA, the trauma layered on trauma, layered on trauma. And this is another trauma for our community. One more trauma. I was saying I lived in Los Angeles when Rodney King was beat half to death. And no one was held accountable then. And officers continue not to be held accountable when they, had, when they uh, do excessive force. When will someone be held accountable? When will there be police uh, reform? When can we feel safe anywhere? Breonna Taylor was killed in her home. It's trauma, it's trauma layered on trauma. Check, 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 check. The pain, the fear, the anger, it's generational. When's enough gonna be enough? When is it gonna be enough? When will our lives matter? When will our lives matter? Since we met our European counterparts 500 years ago, all they've ever done is take, and they're still taking today. George Floyd, the Stinnett families, Breonna Taylor, they are our Emmett Till moment. That point where you stop in life and ask, where were you when this happened? Where were you when the verdict went down? Because this is gonna impact this city this state and the nation for many years to come. We don't need a two-hour explanation for what our eyes can see. 
People across this country were not protesting and gathering peacefully, advocating for justice for something that, you know, we need to, requires a two hour justification. I think we all saw what happened and that's, I think the facts speak for themselves. This is not about buildings, this is about people and how any one of us can be shot down in the street and there are no consequences for it. The whole world saw the video. Believe what your eyes told you. This was nothing more than a modern day lynching. 